Hey, it's Sarah, and welcome to the User Guide for Citus Link, a wireless lighting control system. In this video, we will focus on helping you understand how to use Magic Program Pro. Magic Program Pro is the foundation of our lighting design system and allows for the most flexibility, creativity, and customizability. In Pro Mode, you trigger each of your lights using a fixture grid and node-based timeline, primarily using the continue, chase, and flash type effects that you might recognize from manual effects. Both Magic Program Go and Pro support up to 25 fixtures or pixels and can only be used with lights that have Magic Program compatibility built in. At the time of recording, this includes fixtures like the Aperture MC, Nova P300C, Accent B7C, and Amaran COB lights, to name a few. Once you've added your lights in the Fixtures menu, you will see the Magic Program icon at the bottom of the menu, in between the Fixtures menu and Console icons. After entering the Magic Program menu, you can toggle between Magic Program Go or Pro in the upper left corner. The first step once you're in Pro Mode is to select the size of your control matrix. You have four choices, each with capacities for different numbers of fixtures, including a 2x2 two two matrix which can hold up to four fixtures, a 3x3 three three matrix that can hold up to nine, as well as 4x4 four four and 5x5 five five matrices. To start adding lights to your array, tap on a fixture ID to select the light, and then tap on the corresponding position in the matrix you want to link it to. Once you've set the position of a fixture, the ID will be grayed out and cannot be selected again. To deselect a fixture or unlink it from a position, just tap on the fixture in the matrix and that fixture will become available again. To help confirm which fixture IDs correspond to which lights on set, you can tap the Find Light button located to the right of each fixture ID. After you've finished adding your lights, tap the Confirm button to create your layout. If your light has been grayed out and has been marked as unable to be added, check to make sure that fixture is compatible with Magic Program and has been updated to the latest firmware. Magic Program Pro works by using a node timeline for keyframing effects. The timeline has a maximum length of 10 minutes or 600 seconds and is divided into 0.2 second or 200 millisecond intervals. This means the fastest that two individual nodes can be triggered is within 0.2 seconds of each other due to the Citus Mesh network. Two different actions cannot be triggered simultaneously, but we'll discuss later how to simultaneously trigger the same action on multiple fixtures. Below the timeline are the main tools for Magic Program, including the Play, Loop, AB Interval, Flash, Continue, Off, and Effects Library buttons. The Play button will trigger the sequence of nodes you have arranged in the timeline. Toggling the Cycle button will change whether the sequence plays through once or loop indefinitely. Use the AB Interval button to set the in and out points to play a specific section of the timeline, like you would in a video editor. Tapping the Store button will take you to the Effects Library, where you can save your Magic Program sequences. The Flash, Continue, and Off nodes are the three primary actions you will need to design a comprehensive Magic Program sequence. An Off node will instantly change the intensity of any fixture you trigger to 0%. Once you tap on the Off button, it becomes your default action node. Tap on any tile in the Fixtures matrix, and it will create a corresponding action node in the timeline at the location of your cursor. Follow this same process to create other action nodes. Tapping on the Flash button will open up the Settings menu for a Flash node. For a Flash effect, you can adjust the intensity, color, frequency, or length of the flashes, and number of times the node will flash. For the color controls, you can select a CCT or HSI source base to work with white light or colored light, respectively. Within the CCT source base, you can choose a color temperature using the gradient slider and the desired green magenta shift. In the HSI source base, you can select a color by adjusting the hue and saturation using the color wheel. The frequency setting will control the duration of the flashes from 0.1 Hz to 10 Hz, or 10 seconds to 0.1 second. The higher the Hz value, the faster the flash is. Adjusting the time setting will control how many flashes will occur. Next to the number of times, you will see an estimate for the length of the flash node's effect which will reflect the frequency you have chosen. 
The Continuous Light Effects menu has even more options, including Continue, Chase, and Effect. In Continue mode, you have access to the same color adjustments as in Flash, as well as the ability to adjust the Fade In Time, Fade In Curve, Continue Time, Fade Out Time, and Fade Out Curve. The Fade In Time controls the duration of the time it takes for the node of a fixture to transition from 0% intensity to your desired intensity. A Fade In Time of 0 will cause the fixture to instantly reach the selected intensity. The Fading Curve will adjust the dimming curve used to transition. You can choose from linear, exponential, logarithmic, or S-curve, matching the same dimming curves on your light fixture. The fade-out time and fade-out curve are the same, except they control the transition down to 0% intensity. Continue time is the most important setting in this mode. It dictates how long your light will remain on at your desired intensity, ranging from 0 to 100 seconds, or always. The total duration of this action will combine the fade in time, continue time, and fade out time. When adjusting any of these time values, you can tap on the selected parameter and input a specific time using your keyboard. With a chase node, you can adjust the color, length of the chase, and whether or not it loops. The output and color parameters can individually be locked into a specific point or vary within a range. If a parameter is set to point mode, your light will maintain the selected value. In the range mode, the value will vary within the start and stop you set. Each chase mode has four settings, sequential, reverse, alternating, and random. In sequential mode, the parameter value, such as color temperature, will move from left to right. In reverse mode, the value will shift from right to left. In alternating mode, the value will move left to right, then back to left throughout the range. And in random mode, the value will constantly bounce between random points between the start and stop points. The loop mode setting will determine if this chase will occur once or if it will repeat indefinitely until paused or interrupted by another action node. The last option for a continuous node is the effect node. Here you can choose from a variety of system FX for your light fixture. However, if your light fixture is not capable of outputting these effects, it will not trigger. For example, an Amaran bicolor COB light cannot use the cop car effect, but a full color fixture can. Once you finalize the settings for your node, tap the Set as Default button in the upper right corner to confirm the default settings for any node you create from that point forward. Right above the timeline located at the bottom of the screen, there are multiple shortcut buttons, including a color swatch shortcut, blank node button, timeline zoom button, timeline reset button, delete node button, and add new matrix buttons. The color swatch shortcut will allow you to select your desired CCT or HSI value and apply it to your default effect without adjusting any other parameters. Within both the CCT and HSI selection menus, you'll also have access to your preferred swatchbook presets for a more efficient workflow. The blank button will add a blank node to your timeline. These nodes are important because they fill in the gaps between action nodes, so the system knows not to trigger any new actions. If you place an action node and move your cursor forward, either by dragging it or double tapping your desired location on the timeline, and then place another action node, Magic Program will automatically fill up the time in between with blank nodes. The Zoom button will toggle between a granular view of the timeline, which allows you to see and control individual nodes, and a zoomed out view of the whole timeline. If you want to start from scratch, the Reset button will clear all nodes on the timeline, while leaving the rest of your matrix and arrays intact. If you'd only like to remove a single node, select the node you want removed and tap on the Trash or Delete icon. To adjust existing nodes, select the node and then tap it once more. The New Matrix button allows you to create an entirely new sequence, including a new matrix layout. Before exiting Magic Program or creating a new matrix and timeline, make sure to save your timeline by tapping on the Store button. Once you've created a new matrix, your current timeline will be erased. And lastly, let's talk about arrays. To simultaneously trigger multiple lighting fixtures, you can group these lighting fixtures into an array. When you first confirm your layout in addition to your main array, Citus Link automatically creates a tile that will trigger all linked fixtures. To create new arrays, 
tap the plus button in the upper right corner. You will then be prompted to select the fixtures you want to group together. Once you've selected your desired fixtures, tap the link button and then each of those fixture tiles will display the same number depending on the grouping order, such as 1, 2, or 3. This number, along with the array, will distinguish each group of fixtures, such as A1 or B2. If you change your mind about linking a group of fixtures, you can select that group, then tap the Unlink button to undo the grouping. Once you're satisfied with the groups you've linked together, confirm the array by tapping the OK button in the bottom right, and the array will be generated. You can create a maximum of 24 arrays within Magic Program Pro. After an array is created, it cannot be deleted until you open a new sequence. Once you understand the fundamentals of how to use Magic Program Pro, you'll be able to create your own unique, custom, keyframed lighting effects. And once you've completed your sequence, tap the Play button to trigger it. You can also edit the nodes on the timeline at any time and preview them in real time. As with other aspects of Citus Link, the interface, layout, and button positions may appear slightly different between Citus Link for iPad and the mobile versions of Citus Link for iOS and Android. When using the iPad version, you won't need to switch windows to edit your light effects. You can also see up to two preview bars for different selected nodes that show both the color and length of the effect, allowing for a faster and more efficient workflow. If this video was helpful, hit the like button and share this video with a filmmaking friend. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, contact us on social media, or join the Citus Link Creativity Facebook group to share your ideas with others. And of course, thanks for watching.